subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Paulette is our latest hurricane for the Atlantic Collection for 2020. A Category 1 which is approaching the island of Bermuda and could affect the island with hurricane force winds. Currently at 30 degrees north, 62.2 degrees west, our latest estimate as of 1pm Bermuda time. Here it is right now, 80 mph winds, a pressure of 976 millibars moving northwest, CDPS stage 4 on this, um, mainly due to the wind speed and wind field. Looking at Bermuda for Monday morning, the early hours in particular is when this storm will really start to push through. You'll already see effects from this storm tonight, uh, but Monday especially. Stage 4 there on the CDPS. As mentioned, rain not quite as much of a threat. We're expecting maybe up to 4 or 5 inches, but the wind and the wind field, you can see it already just about reaching the island potentially, uh, and that will continue to make its effects felt throughout uh, this afternoon and evening. So you can see it's already quite close, it's 217 miles from Bermuda itself, 851 miles from Cape Hatteras, those looking out towards this storm, 913 from Cape Cod, 1011 from Halifax and 1310 from St. John's in Atlantic Canada. And a small chance it could end up going that way but not likely at the moment, hurricane warning for Bermuda. Estimated winds right now, um, ADT going up opposite ends of the scale there, SSEC saying tropical storm is clearly stronger than that, NOAA suggesting it could even be a category 2, um, it's 80 miles an hour officially, uh, probably maybe could be a little bit higher than that. Uh, there it is now on the National Hurricane Center's forecast cone. They are expecting it to briefly reach major hurricane status now, that's on Tuesday after it passes Bermuda. So. The island will be experiencing um, a strengthening hurricane at this point um, and we expect that it will be a gradual strengthening phase throughout until we get to Tuesday when it peaks levels off and then it starts to take that trend down again. National Hurricane Center think it will turn post-tropical out over the northern Atlantic. Here's a animation showing the um, total precipitable water so you can quite clearly see the hurricane's influence there it starts to lose its moisture plume as it heads up towards those cooler waters but it's still traceable as it drifts eventually towards the southeast and could go on to affect the Azores um, and also you can see on that on that um, loop there uh, tropical depression 20L becomes that dominant hurricane out in a similar area actually next week that's something to watch out for in the long range uh, but as for Paulette after Bermuda the next port of call will probably be the western Azores. Sea surface temperatures around the storm are fairly warm, around uh, 28 degrees Celsius, that's 82 marked in Fahrenheit there on the map. Uh, SSTs will start to cool in about two or three days, but until then it's got a good chance. Here it is right now, you can see the models taking it through Bermuda there as a significant hurricane, probably Category 2 or high-end Category 1, shooting off towards the northeast there. Tropical storm force winds look like they'll stay offshore the uh, east coast of North America, and then eventually, whether it's still a tropical storm or not, the GFS thinks it will reach the western uh, islands of the Azores. So this is what the models consensus are saying, uh, most of them going for that major hurricane peak um, and the wind shear really reaching a low ebb very shortly in the later part of today so that's not good news for Bermuda there, it's its best chance for intensification is right now, sea surface temperatures warm 28 degrees plus relative humidity, um, that might be the stopping point for this storm from rapid intensification at least. Well here it is right now on the satellite imagery, the geocolly, you can see its um, visible structure certainly getting a lot better throughout today. The uh, northeastern side still appears to be the weakest or maybe wrapping around to the northern side now but the southern areas there looking pretty good, uh, certainly intensifying rather slowly uh, but we're certainly looking at the possibility of this storm being a category 2 by the time it reaches Bermuda or a high-end Category 1, it will still produce very strong winds and it could go on for many hours with a significantly sized wind field. We'll have more updates on this storm as it progresses.